Hi everyone, it's Gina from Gina K Designs and welcome back to another 5 minute card video. Today I'm going to share the Neon Reverse Stencil Technique. I'm going to be using the Rena K Designs Electro Pop Neon Inks and I have a piece of cardstock here that's cut to 3 and 3 quarters of an inch by 5 inches. Now I'm going to tack this down onto a piece of this scrap cardstock. Of course you can use a mat, a stencil mat, whatever you want. But I'm just going to tack mine down with a little bit of tape. And I am going to start with yellow. Now this is Hello Yellow. It is a neon yellow. I love this color. And I am going to start right in the center of the cardstock and I'm just going to rub this direct to paper back and forth across the center. Look at that neon color. Isn't that gorgeous? Then I'm going to work my way back toward the top. My next color would be Orange Glow. And I'm going to mix a little bit of that into that Hello Yellow. And you can see it creates two different shades of orange. And then my final shade up here is the Raging Red. So I'm going to add a little bit of that to the top. And now you have a little bit of an orangey red up there as well. Now I'm going to work downward from that Hello Yellow with Screamin' Green. I'm going to add some of that and leaving a little bit of space left for the blaring blue. And the blaring blue will go a little bit over that green and it will make a, a different green in between. So it really is a beautiful neon rainbow. Now I'm going to use the daisy chain stencil. This is the perfect type of stencil for this technique because all of the details are solid in the stencil, as you can see. So wherever there are solid details, you're going to get beautiful neon ink. Now I am going to tape this down on all four sides because I want to make sure that it doesn't move at all while I'm doing this inking process. I'm using some purple tape, but you can use washi tape or anything else you have. Now I have a piece of uh, paper towel here on my finger so I can touch the stencil when it's all inky. And I'm using some black onyx ink. Now I'm going to start up at the top corner and I'm going to work my way all the way across this entire stencil with black onyx ink. This is the hardest part because all of that gorgeous neon color, it just feels wrong to ink over it with black. But when you see the result, it is absolutely striking. So again, I'm working my way across and I'm inking up my brush kind of frequently because I want to make sure that this is nice and dark. I have tried this with other colors like navy and brown, but there doesn't seem to be anything that looks as beautiful as black. So once I get the black onyx all over the entire thing, it's time to peel and reveal. So I'm going to loosen up that purple tape on at least three sides and then peel it right back and look at that. Oh my goodness, that is so beautiful, so vibrant. I, I just can't stop looking at it. Now I cut that down a little bit and mounted it onto a white panel and here I have a piece of vellum. This vellum measures two inches by six inches and I'm going to put a little tape on the back here and then I'm going to fold the vellum over the back. This is the easiest way to get a vellum strip across your card. Vellum always shows when you put tape on it, it just seems to show through. And by wrapping it around your card, it won't show through at all. And the reason I did that is because I'm going to be using this Hello White uh, word. You could see it peeking on the side there. And I laid it directly on top and it didn't really show up very well with all of that neon color. So I decided if I put some vellum, it would just calm down that area a little bit so that the white hello would show up really nicely. And if you're curious about that card base, I decided to use blue raspberry because that felt like the next color in the rainbow. You can also use wild lilac for the card base and I think that would be pretty too. So now I've added the hello across the center and I'm going to finish this card up with a little bit of embellishing. I'm going to use some Connect Glue in our fine tip bottles and I'm going to add three little dots of it in three flowers on the top and then three on the bottom. I'm not doing every flower, just three and three. 
Now I'm going to use some silver metallic pearls here. You can use gold, black pearls if you want, white pearls, rhinestone sequins, whatever you want to embellish this card. I found the silver looked really nice and sleek against that bright, vibrant neon. And these are so easy to apply right in the center of those flowers. So there's my finished card project. Well, I hope you like this technique, and I sure hope you'll give it a try. Stay tuned to my channel for more 5-minute card videos and more Stampin' Chat videos, too. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you again real soon.